be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Michael Vick recently ran a 4.72 40-yard dash, and it's quite impressive, guys. Michael Vick ran a faster 40 at age 40. You got to remember, Vick is not a spring chicken anymore. He ran a 40-yard dash in 4.27 uh, time, and that is – better than a lot of the notable quarterbacks that are playing right now. You know, Josh Allen, you'd consider him pretty fast. He ran a 4.275. Vic was faster. Dak Prescott's got a nice little speed, a good mobile quarterback. He runs a 4.79. Patrick Mahomes can get around. We saw him move and running for his life in the Super Bowl. He ran a 4.80. And then we know Vic is blowing Baker Mayfield out of the water. He ran a 4.84. But here's the thing. It got me thinking. How would Michael Vic play? If he was in the NFL in 2021, now you got to remember, Vic was drafted as the number one overall pick in the early 2000s, like right in 2001, and he even went to four Pro Bowls as a professional. But the NFL was a different time. It was dominated during that time, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, then later came Drew Brees, then later came Aaron Rodgers, and then came these guys that, you know, ended up dominating the league during that period. And nobody really looked like Vic, right? You had... You Dante Culpepper's that can move a little bit. You, and you had other quarterbacks, Cordell Stewart and some other guys that were mobile, but they weren't considered real quarterbacks. They weren't considered, guy, you know, franchise changers. Now, every quarterback that gets drafted into the NFL is mobile. Every quarterback in the NFL has to be able to move. The only guy recently that was taken with a high round pick was Mac Jones. It was like zero mobility, but Trevor Lawrence can move. Uh, uh, Trey Lance can move. Zach Wilson can move, right? Justin Fields can move. Those are four of the five first round quarterbacks this past year. Then we talked about the Josh Allens, the Kyler Murrays of the world, the Lamar Jacksons, the Dak Prescotts. All of these guys have mobility in their game. All of these guys can go and, and throw for 400 yards and also run for 150 yards. Like that's just, that's just the reality of the situation. That's where the NFL is in 2021. So my question is, what would happen? Michael Vick, who was drafted number one overall in 2001, what would happen if you dropped him in 2021? If you dropped him in the NFL right now with his skill set from 20 years ago, what would it look like? Well, I can tell you right now, he'd probably be a top five quarterback in the league. Now, Michael Vick had accuracy issues. We understand that he wasn't the most accurate quarterback. But Lamar Jackson isn't the most accurate quarterback. Lamar Jackson just won an MVP two years ago. He isn't the most accurate quarterback. Michael Vick, straight line speed? I don't know if there's a quarterback fat. Lamar Jackson, I think, is quicker side to side than, than Mike Vick. But straight speed, like just run, outrun this guy. I don't know if there's a guy faster than Michael Vick. I don't, I don't know if there is. And with the way the offenses are compiled now, the way that the RPOs are taken into account, the way that, you know, you, you got these tight ends that are just – superhuman Darren Wallers and Mark Andrews and all these guys that are like superhuman tight ends, uh, Travis Kelsey, Kyle Pitts, who just got drafted by Atlanta. Ironically, Mike Vick would destroy the NFL right now. Mike Vick was destroying the NFL when nobody looked like him. Now that they're all carbon copies of Michael Vick, he would be the best version. He would be the best version. And that's, there's no doubt in my mind, he would dominate this league. He would have a couple of MVPs and his team would be in Super Bowl contention. You know who he would remind me of the most? It's not even Lamar Jackson. It would honestly be Josh Allen. Because think about Josh Allen's first two years in the league. Now, obviously, their body types are totally different, right? Josh Allen's like 6'6". Six, six. He's like 240. But Vic is even faster at age 40. Josh Allen has a huge arm. Josh Allen struggled his first two years out of the gate. Josh Allen um, was borderline bust after those first two years. Now, they made it to the playoffs his second year, but he wasn't a very good player. He still wasn't that great. Like, he still wasn't a very good player. And then the third year, he popped because they got him a number one receiver. Michael Vick, to me, would have that same style of trajectory. I think the first, you know, maybe he might struggle a little bit, especially because of the accuracy. But you get him a number one receiver, and he would be the Michael Vick. I, I think he would be the Michael Vick that we always know and love from the jump. But I think, you know, because of the uh, passing concepts and all the things that take place in the NFL, unless they construct the offense designedly right for him, just like they did in Baltimore for Lamar Jackson, I think Michael Vick, if they try to slow roll it like they did with Josh Allen, he might struggle for a year or two, but then he would figure it out and then he'd become one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Michael Vick would dominate the NFL right now if he played 
right now, just the way the game is going, think about it. The man was the number one pick in 2001, right when Peyton Manning, right after Peyton Manning had been the number one pick, right as Brady was taking over the job in New England, right as like all of these statue pocket style quarterbacks were dominating the NFL. And here comes this six foot, remember he's not very tall, six foot mobile agile quarterback with this rocket arm out of Virginia Tech that just led them to the national championship game against Florida State. Bring him into the NFL right now? Come on, man. He would dominate. He would be a success. As long as, you know, you avoid the trouble with the dogfighting and stuff. Now, that was something that derailed his career. Or I think we'd be talking about Michael Vick in the Hall of Fame if that never happens. But you take away the the little dogfighting scandal, Michael Vick would be a surefire Hall of Famer, especially in today's NFL. That's no doubt in my mind. Le- leave your thoughts and comments down below. Once again, I'm Jeff Lights Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and follow me at VF Sports Show. I post content on there all the time about sports and who you think's better and who does what, and we have great conversations on there. Once again, I'm Jeff Lights Jr. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Mike Vick, I love it. I, I, want, I wish you could play in today's NFL.